On February 10th, I opened Celeste and started a speedrun. Three weeks later, on March 2nd, I finally beat Farewell. I kept the game open and the timer running the entire time. This was a 100% speedrun, done while minimizing the number of times I would grab, and I ended up only needing 16 grabs to 100% the game. Back in 2021, I did a 100% run in 29 grabs. Around that time of a run, a grab in stubbornness was saved, which bring the required grab total down to only 28. Several months afterward, dash trigger skip, which lets you keep two dashes throughout most of Farewell, was discovered, and that saved two grabs. And in early 2023, two more grabs were saved, one in 1B, requiring some utterly absurd movement on these traffic blocks, and one in 2C, which, while easy to execute, doesn't even look close to being possible at first glance. But you're probably wondering what on earth could cause a speedrun to last nearly three weeks. That's because of a glitch discovered on Christmas Day in 2022, which saved an incredible eight grabs. There was a flurry of activity in this less tasking community when Bread discovered that pausing the game impacted how these circular spikes, which we call spinners, load their collision. Pausing repeatedly in a very specific manner allowed deloading spinners entirely. However, this glitch required every single pause to be frame perfect, and with the grab saves requiring dozens of consecutive pauses, this glitch seemed to be humanly impossible. But it turns out there's another way to deload spinner hitboxes. Instead of requiring loads of frame perfect pauses, this glitch requires you to do this. Yeah, you just wait for 118 hours. You see, when the Celeste devs wrote their collision code, they decided that spinners would only load if they're close to Madeline. This prevents the game from lagging in giant rooms like in 3000 meters. To optimize collision code a little bit more, they divided spinners into three groups, each of which would load collision every three frames. Here you can see the division of these groups represented by the color of a hitbox. And this would have worked just fine. But it turns out the timer they use to keep track of these three frame intervals is a little buggy. This timer, which I'll be calling time active, is a float. Floats are how computers represent non-integer numbers, and they work a lot like scientific notation. With scientific notation, if you try and add two numbers with wildly different magnitudes, let's say 1 times 10 to the 10th and 1 times 10 to the negative 10th, you'll find that the bigger number doesn't change. The smaller number just isn't significant enough to matter. The same thing happens with floats. In our case, if we try and add 1 60th of a second to 525,000 seconds, we'll find that the number doesn't increase. And how long does it take for time active to reach this point? Well, about 525,000 seconds, or a little less than five days. When this timer finally stops, it'll be stuck at a constant value, meaning that as far as this group of spinners is concerned, they need to load collision every single frame. And as far as these two groups are concerned, well, they never need to load collision again. Just by waiting, we've caused two thirds of spinner hitboxes to completely disappear. And with that explanation out of the way, let's get on with the run. Okay, let's go. First, first attempt at this run. What was that? <laughs> okay. Grab one. Again. First try, nice. Grab two. Grab number three. 
Okay, time for a horrible chapter that is over a third of the grabs in the run. Missed it three times in a row. in this chapter, and two. Also, I like that I got the hardest room and start first try. <laughs> Horrible checkpoint. I miss the days when this was the worst room in 1B. This was discovered today. Needed to buffer one more frame, that was close. hell. certain that wouldn't work, so... <laughs> of the pixel trip. Which I somehow got first try.
was um, certainly a strat. <laughs> Don't know how I didn't die there. Oops. <laughs> I don't think I have ever hit the top of this cassette before. The standard strat for that berry, I believe. Did I put that in my Discord status? I don't remember. I'm too high, I think. No, I'm not. Yeah, well, that, that's also because I was doing it without pause buffering, so... has a better setup for this room. Not hard to do. <laughs> And it happens with my pause keys, which is really unfortunate. There we go. It's just, it feels so bad hitting the very top of that corner in wind. Clearly did something different there, but I don't know what it was. Let's go! Wow, I saved that. Hey, guess what? I'm not losing time right now. <laughs> because 
floats don't have infinite precision, um, trying to increment the timer used to keep track of hitboxes just doesn't increase the timer anymore. I got a Windows update notification a while ago earlier today. I'm gonna have to make sure that doesn't do anything. Yeah, so I need I need it for the second auto, but I also don't want to do the first auto, so I'm just gonna stop here. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the game open for um, about five days. This messes up uh, particle effects. So, there's just a line, which I, I think that's snow across the screen, because the timer used for these particle effects is completely screwed up. And one of these attempts is gonna not die. I, I don't... I, I don't remember it off the top of my... There we go! <laughs> Hello! I love these lines. <laughs> this did not happen in my testing. <laughs> yeah, I just checked what was loaded beforehand. And this is the room that this glitch is required in. you want like a technical explanation i tried to give one up earlier earlier in the stream uh here's a fun strat here that is a split. This one is... I... this one's awkward. Okay, there we go. Did I just go for the really hard cycle there without noticing and get it? Get pulled up by this wall? What? Okay. <laughs> uh, that last berry, that was just a fairly precise repressing jump in the middle of a jump to get um, a floatier jump. And we don't count Theo grabs because it'd be very annoying to count. I do have to watch my movement very carefully to make sure I don't grab something on accident. Wow, that temple split doesn't even look bad because of how long the one before it is. Okay, so every time I do one of these runs, like half of the YouTube comments are like, why didn't you do Bub's Drop? So I'm gonna try and move Bub's Drop just to show how terrible it is.
Yeah, getting under that look is what you have to do for Bump's Drop. It's, it's horrid. That was, uh, certainly a room. We don't keep track of grabs in terms of grab presses, because you could just, like, keep grab held the entire game. So we instead count how many times do you grab something and it matters, more or less. This will mean I won't be playing some Strawberry Jam the instant it releases. The fact that this is one of the easiest B-sides is actually incredibly cursed, because this is arguably the hardest B-side. And it's just easy compared to everything else in this category being ludicrous. Okay, this is a hard room, by the way. Which, somehow I got first try. Sure. I have to explain right now. Um... I already broke it, you're a bit late. Sorry, Carrie. <laughs> Casually, at least. Wow, I don't have to do the Gravelous Platform activation here. Yay! The demo. There we are. And here's the required summit grab. corner jumps right in a row there. That wasn't funny room. This is funny room. So, literally everyone ever has done a beat one frame bunny hop here, and you can just do this.
Oh dear. That's what I meant to do. Funny level, part two. So, how's everyone doing? We gotta wait for 115 hours and 40 minutes. But we'll show that these spikes do in fact exist, and they won't in a minute. <laughs> eh, misjudged it. Oh well. <laughs> Time loss. <laughs> now they're gone. <laughs> you can... You can get up to the corner with the spikes of it, but you, if you want to get from the, this corner up to the top of the screen, you need to do another grab... You need to do a grab jump. And I need to increment the grab counter now. The snow in the background is jumping, and it's really messing with me. <laughs> and a pretty unavoidable grab there. I should probably have my visual cues document up for this, because this is pretty hard. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> okay, now we get to have fun again. This is a fun one. Oh, it's a strat here again. Oh wow! I this is this is uh, I I haven't seen this before. This is very funny. That's... I love this. <laughs> this is so distracting. Yeah, and this is where the grab is normally required. Lower. Nice. panicking at the end, so apparently it still is hard to do grabless. There's some shortcuts you can do on this screen, but I don't remember what they are. I just remember the important part, which is a skip. <laughs> and misdirecting dashes, apparently. Oh, that's a lot of pedals in the same place. I tried breaking this screen, but there are just a lot of spinners in awkward places, and that's like the only thing I found. <laughs>
Yeah, it's just um, one grab and determination where there's a wall in the way and you have to grab it to progress at all. Come on. There we go. Ah uh, yes, 172, my beloved. Really? Okay, that is 0% my strat there, but I guess that works. And the screen after this I could do, but it'll actually lose me time to do, because I have to... It, it'll require a ton of pause buffering, and I have to wait for the screen after this anyway. So only one of those three groups of spinners is able to update, and those end up updating every single frame, and the other two-thirds never update. Like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> so here's ridiculous grab save number one. A lot of the spinners that are loaded are in really annoying spots, so I'm still going to pause buffer it. I did manage to get it without pause buffering a few times, but it was super inconsistent. And then the room after this, um, uh, two rooms after this, even if there weren't any spinners at all in the room, I would still have to pause buffer it. <laughs> Why did that? Inputs got crosswired in my brain, and I pressed pause and then demo, <laughs> which retries. Um, we're gonna we're gonna ignore that one. Um, so this didn't actually happen when I practiced. 
the core effect, like the graphical messing up from core has broken and it's actually screwing with my visual cues. What one line of pixels that I use for my cue is one pixel to the left than it is without any distortion. Well, shit. <laughs> I hate this last jump. I could not find a half decent setup for it. Are you kidding me? Was lucky. Okay, please get it this time. Okay, we're out. That sucked. And now we're straight into this horrible room. Yes! One time I don't get to do the five tile there. Ice mode heartbeat, my beloved. Shoutouts to Carrie for this room.
Okay, one more grub. And here's the hard room. Nice pause buffers. Oh my god. <laughs> if I had somehow managed to back that up. Wow, well, there's one grab. We really can't do anything about that. Learned a new setup for this that's a lot faster, but it's still spike jump roulette. I do that. That's a backup. There's a setup. There, there's a way to do it without that, but it's pretty inconsistent. Nice grabless activation. Pretty much, it's not required, but it's a lot easier than doing the screen the more normal way. That is a pretty good 6D, to be honest. I'm, th I'm not that great at that Kevin strat, so... Thank God for that checkpoint. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do something very weird right now. I'm going to wait on the overworld for about 40 minutes. And the reason I'm doing that is this because I want to talk to my physics professor at office hours next week. If I start the chapter right now, the timer will break during office hours. Okay, here we go. Yep. <sighs> All the visual effects just freeze, and... And you need that to beat the screen. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> and it also makes this screen a lot easier. It's still a hard screen. It's not even gonna bother. It is a simply simply a fact of this category that 8C is just like this.
Okay, we're good. Ten and a half. Uh, twelve. Twenty-two. A little surprised that worked. Anyway, that's dash trigger skip. I have two dashes now. You still have to land there. <laughs> that was a way of doing that room. First try, nice. There we are, hard room. And now another one of the same activations, except this time I don't have to do anything fancy after it. So it's much easier. Habo's work is a demo dash that hits the block at a specific frame of a dash will always get an activation. Nice. That was really fast. And another one of the same type of activation. Okay. That was weird. There is. Much better. That one.
That's what I was doing in practice. And that's the last grab. Wind Springs, another room that I'm very glad to have um, two dashes in. Makes this end much easier. Can just do that. It's still really awkward, but. Okay, um, nobody's ready for this setup. I loved this earlier today. It's hilarious. And yes, this is better than the alternative. This is how bad this room is. Funny room. <laughs> I know that probably seemed utterly ridiculous. It's like five times better than what I used to do there. Okay, the hard um, recon room. <laughs> I'm pause buffering this because I do need. I'm I'm sick of dying on. This little corridor. Okay, come on, first try trick at the end. That looked good. Nice. First try Moonberry, not bad. Can't believe I'm going to get sub 476 hours and 30 minutes. And what a silly run. <laughs> that... I need to reboot my computer. I've needed to reboot my computer for about a week. So, um, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> if another bit grab gets saved, I'm I'm not doing this again. That th th this was a dumb idea. I'm, I, <laughs> this was such a dumb idea.